Hey folks, welcome back to Ed's Garage. Today, doing a really quick, simple little video on how to install your side marker lights on your Hummer H3, your upgraded side marker lights. Uh, so they look like this. They are the LED style. Now the cool thing is when the orange light's out, uh, so when your running lights aren't on, basically these will light up in white. Um, so that's, or when your headlights aren't on, these will light up in white to mim uh, mimic the running lights. So this is what the replacement one looks like. You can see it's got two clips, one on either side, just like the original. And then it's got a little wire harness that goes into the light bulb socket. And then another light that you would connect to your running lights. Um, so what we're going to do is uh, I've already pulled out the old one. As you can see, well, here's, here's that one. I'll take you over to the passenger side here. You can see there's a hole here now. So the way that we get in there, there's the old one. I'm just going to pop that back in just a little bit there. So the way that we get in there, we remove some of the clips uh, basically on the inside of the wheel well here. There's one there. Uh, there's one back here as well. Um, let me just turn my camera light on here for you. And then you can see there's a hole right back there as well. And then you might, uh, on the driver's side, there's one down here as well. And then, of course, you have this one here. Now, my... Uh, little bit here is cut out, so there might actually be further clips holding that on. But basically, yeah, so drop this down as much as you can. I kind of just stuff the flashlight in there to hold it in place. And then I, what I did was I used a pair of needle nose pliers, got to the back side of the, uh, the light. And you can see there's the hole there. And there's the clip poking through. So using the needle nose pliers on that clip, I was able to release it, pull it out. Now the next thing to do is pretty straightforward. We're just going to pull the wiring harness through. There's the old LED bulb that was in there. All right, pull that out. Save that for another spot in the truck. Okay, so what I gotta do is I gotta plug the wiring harness from the new light in there, but I need both hands to do that. All right, so I gotta connect it up. Now these, uh, these LEDs uh, do have a polarity. You have to have this plugged in the right way, so if it doesn't work, just flip it over. 180 plug it in and test it um, and then the white wire here that's going to connect up to the daytime running lights um, or whatever other basically 12 volt source you want to connect it to um, to turn those on when your headlights are off um, yeah let's um, wrap this up in some electrical tape so it doesn't uh, come out on uh, during wheeling and whatnot and of course this is going to be kind of dangling inside there uh, so we want to tape that up so it's nice and secure. All right, I've gone ahead and uh, taped up the hell out of this thing, so that's uh, not going to come loose now. And now I have to take this white wire and basically run it through this hole. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to run it up through, I don't know if you can see it from here, uh, there. There's a little tiny hole back there that goes into the engine bay. Uh, that's the blurry one in behind there. Yeah. So that's where I'm going to run this wire now, so I can actually get my hand up in here. Uh, from the bottom up, and I'm going to see if you can see this here, I go ahead and put that through that little hole, and that'll come out on the other side, I don't, I don't, think, I don't think you can see that, but yeah, give me a so there we go, so now I have this wire ready to connect up to probably the, uh, well, this truck has daytime running lights, so I'm connected up to that. All right, and then this is, of course, now ready to uh, clip back into place. So I'm just going to take this plastic off here, make sure the wires don't get pinched. And it just clicks in, just like that. Then, of course, we got to put the uh, wheel well liner back in. All right, so to put that uh, splash guard back in there, basically, you want to put in this part of the clip first, and then insert this little guy here. This kind of locks it into place. It spreads the uh, the clip apart. Um, to take these out, by the way, guys, uh, one of these is super, super useful. You can get them for like $4 on AliExpress or 10 bucks on Amazon. Uh, but basically, you can get underneath this clip and pull it out. Uh, and then you would just pull this out. It comes out really easily once that's out. All right, so let's go ahead and put one of these back in. Now, when you're putting them back in, put the uh, put the insert in first like that and then put the locking portion in 
when you're holding it up. Just like that. All right, then do that for all the ones you took out. All right, as you can see, I've got it all wired in now. And of course the running light is currently on. So um, I would explain how to connect this to your running lights, but it's probably gonna be different than mine because uh, mine is kind of finagled to make these um, custom headlights work or custom installed headlights. Uh, so yeah, they're, they're a little bit tricky. You have to find basically your daytime running light lead um, and connect the white wire uh, to that. So now if I turn on the headlights, See that it now turns orange. So at night, basically, this is going to light up in orange, and during the day, it'll be white. So that's how uh, that's how it looks. So pretty simple install. Uh, just remember, plug the lead that comes off of there into the head or to the light socket, tape it up, and then connect that nice long white wire to uh, some sort of switched on uh, AC uh, or switched DC um, accessory wire. Uh, or the daytime running light wire of your headlights. So that's just going to be a little bit tricky. Um, I, unfortunately, I wish I could explain how that works, but I can't. So, all right. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Thanks so much. Take care.